Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, it's part two of the Trading Card Collection Showcase. Last time we took a look at the early 90s Spider-Man trading cards. Now we're going to take a look at the Jim Lee X-Men trading cards. As you can see here, there's the checklist. And we have Beast, Wolverine, Havoc, Iceman, Phoenix, Nightcrawler, Cannonball, Wolfsbane, Siren. Uh, just like with Spider-Man, this was the best time in X-Men uh, in X-Men comics. The art was phenomenal. Uh, the look of the characters was amazing. The stories were epic. Even if they were quite long, they were still amazing. It was by, the 90s was by far the best time in comic book history. And of course, back in that time, trading cards were all the rage. Uh, they weren't game cards like they are now. They were just specifically trading cards where it gave uh, an in um, a summarized history of the characters on the back. Uh, such as with Havoc... Says there, Cerebro Scan, subject Havoc. Real name, Alex Summers. Height, 6 foot, weight, 175 pounds. Group affiliation, X-Factor. First appearance, Uncanny X-Men, number 54, March of 1969. And then it goes into some uh, history of Havoc and an extra fact. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we got Lockheed. We've got Professor X, Psylocke. Domino, Storm, Megan, Feral, Cyclops, and Gambit. I always like that picture of Storm. We have Cable, Archangel, Banshee, Shadowcat, Kylan, Jean Grey, Colossus, Warpath, and Polaris. And as you can see up in the corner, it says Superheroes. So you never get confused on... If you picked up a comic during this time that these came out and you had the complete series of this, anyone who showed up in the comics, you know right away who they were. If they were superhero, supervillain, what their name was, what their powers were. Because it says all that stuff on the back. We've got Boom Boom, who later became Boomer, Jubilee, Shatterstar, Strong Guy, Captain Britain, Forge. Multiple Man, Quicksilver, Rogue. Uh, I always like that picture of Rogue, too. Uh, during this time, um, Cookie Crisp Cereal uh, released uh, one of each of these cards in their cereal boxes. So, like, one I got was uh, Mr. Sinister back in the day. Another one was, uh, I believe, Proteus. I never did have the Deadpool trading card, though. So that was a nice find in here. This was one of his first appearances in trading card form, which is very cool. Uh, there was one in the Marvel Super Heroes trading card set uh, that he appeared in uh, before this, I believe. But, yeah. We have Widget, uh, Bishop, Maverick, and... Ceres, Ceres, however you pronounce it. Then we get into the supervillains. Magneto, Mr. Sinister, Deadpool when he was a supervillain. Uh, Proteus, Mojo 2. Juggernaut, the Sentinels, Gideon. Uh, Mask, Shiva, Apocalypse, Sabretooth, Mojo, Caliban. Uh, Gatecrasher, The Brood, Blob, Strife. I always liked Strife. I kind of wish they'd bring him back. Uh, War Wolves, Omega Red, Black Tom, Mystique, Sauron. Saturnine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Saturnine. <laughs> Toad, Shadow King, White Queen. Uh, back when she was a supervillain. Uh, Mastermind, Deathbird. And Lady Deathstrike. And then you got teams. You got the X-Men's Gold Team. X-Men's Blue Team. 
and it says right on the back, Subject X-Men, Blue Strike Force. Subject X-Men, Gold Strike Force. Uh, you got X-Factor, X-Force, Excalibur, the Hellfire Club, the Mutant Liberation Front, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, uh, Upstarts, TechNet. Then we get the X-X-Men, Sunspot, Dark Phoenix, Longshot, Magic, Dazzler, Star Jammers, uh, okay, allies now, uh, Star Jammers, Imperial Guard, Lalandra, Who, W-H-O, uh, Roma, then we get a nice danger room scene there of Nightcrawler, Archangel, Storm, Gambit, Wolverine, Shatterstar, Cyclops, Cable, and Colossus. And that's it. Then, as you can see, we got three of my Titans Returns cards. And then it goes into my Spawn Trading cards, which you guys have seen already. If you haven't seen it, check out that video on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, a little thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if you had these cards growing up in the 90s. Or if you picked some up recently on eBay. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another video. And yeah, take care geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.